time in the 412 lived an eccentric Pittsburgh fan named Frank and his 23-pound, clothes-wearing, trick-performing cat named Pudgy Wudgy. Well, the duo's friendship was one of cosmic proportions, and in the 90s, they made a meteoric impact on Western PA. Comparing him to other cats would like being comparing us to cavemen. It's showtime at Martin Elementary School, presenting Pudgy Wudgy, the Wonder Cat, and his faithful servant, Frank Furco. Pudge, over here. Come on through. No, you're cheating. You cheated. No, no, no. Nobody could believe that this was a real live cat. I have seen footage of him going down the ski slopes with his cat, which is unbelievable to me. The two of them riding on uh, ski doos through the, through the snow. It's probably one out of maybe 10,000 cats that you're going to find a cat that's going to do the things he does. Go strike! Frank Furco was a really unique person. He was a good friend and a good community member and a really eccentric guy. There was no place that we went in that it did everything stop. I mean, to see a cat coming in <laughs> with sunglasses, a hat, and all the crap on them, you don't expect it from a cat. It's Frank's story, too. You know, you don't have Pudgy Wudgy without Frank, and you don't have Frank without Pudgy Wudgy. For 15 years, they went everywhere together, um, and they brought joy to people. He'd love to go to schools and hospitals and community fundraisers, and Pudgy went along with him. And of course, Fra Frank is a big fan thought, why not get down the three rivers and start rooting for our Steelers and Pirates. Look at my man, Pudgy Wudgy, digging the Steeler helmet he's got on. He's got the ski of Steelers st scarf, the Steelers sweater. <laughs> One of the more unique football fans you'll ever see in your entire career right there. Pudgy Wudgy was the Yinzer cat. I don't know any other way to put it, really. He loved Isley's ham and the Steelers. It doesn't get any better than that. One of the great things about the Steelers is they attract these personalities. Whether it's the Terrible Towel and Myron Cope or Franco's Italian Army, you know, these people um, have their own relationship to the game and to the fan base, and that's the way Pudgy was and Frank were. You know, they were part of that fan experience. Pudgy, got any comment? Comment, yeah. I think that Pudgy Wudgy and Frank saved each other. Frank, I think, from a very early age, wanted to be famous and wanted to be popular and wanted to be well known. I think that Pudgy Wudgy knew that this guy had given him a second chance at life, and I think that Frank knew that Pudgy Wudgy had given him a second chance at being that guy, and I think the two of them just loved each other so much. So you've got these two things, you know, this guy who loves sports, loves his community, and you've got this crazy cat who loves it too, and they come together, and it's like magic, Pittsburgh magic.